So today is Saturday the 13th. I am doing a oxalic acid treatment, a vaporizer treatment with a wand. It's 72 degrees where I'm at. And I want you to see the mistake that I've made. I'm still learning this just my second season of treating with, uh, with OA. And sometimes life and jobs and just other things kind of get in the way of, of doing the beekeeping exactly how you want to do it and, and at what times. But I, I, unfortunately, I'm having to do, this is the second treatment on these hives. Unfortunately, I'm having to do this treatment right in the middle of the day because I wasn't able to do it at any other time of the day. But this is the problem right here. Uh, I know with an OA treatment, you're trying your best to get a good treatment up in the brood chamber, in which I have, I feel good with it. The problem is all of these foragers that are coming back now, they didn't get any type of treatment because I had to do this in the middle of the day. Uh, so whenever, if you're if you're just learning how to do OE treatments, and to be honest with you, I'm, I'm still kind of learning, I'm kind of new to it. Just make sure, if, you, if, if at all possible, make sure that you do it either early morning or late in the evening. Uh, so that way you can at least still get a hold of these foragers. And I know there's there's tens of thousands of bees in this hive, and this is just a small handful. But if, if you know, if I'm going to go to the trouble to treat, I want to get as many as I possibly can. So just remember, if you're if you're new to treating OA treatments, try your best to do it in the the early morning uh, or late evening. You know, early morning before the foragers get out, or late evening after the foragers have came back. So. This is, a, this is just another thing I'm learning. Beekeeping is a, 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 a hobby or a, I don't know if you want to call it a way of life where you're constantly learning new things. And this is just something that I'm learning. So make sure when you do your treatments, just, just try not to do it in the middle of the day or else you'll have this problem that I've had. Because all these girls right here didn't get a treatment at all. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there for any uh, beginning treaters. Happy beekeeping. Or good luck, Beaky. See, here's another one. I mean, this is my third one that I've done this to today because I'm having to do it right in the middle of the day. It's unfortunate that these didn't get any type of treatment, but I, I just couldn't help it this time. I mean, just look at this. I mean, maybe I'm just overthinking it, but just look at all those. These are foragers that are coming back that. I wasn't able to treat. Just wasn't able to because of time of day. All right, this will be the last one to show you. This is a four hives that I've done this to. And you just think about it. Four hives of that many bees, the foragers that's not getting treated. That's, that's a lot of bees that don't get treated. So, and boy, I see a lot of pollen, a lot of good looking pollen. But anyway, just learn from my mistakes. Time of day matters.